Hi everyone, merhaba. This is Ayşenur Altan. Welcome to Turkish Food and Travel. I'm back from Kastamonu. I wanted to show you what I brought from there. It was a beautiful like 16-17 days with my family celebrating the Eid. I showed you on my vlogs as much as I can. Uh, you can uh, check if you haven't watched it yet from the links. So I thought you would be interested to see what I uh, shop there, what is famous, what I brought from there. So let's begin. <laughs> Okay, as you can see, the first thing you can see probably is the garlic, which is uh, Kastamonu uh, is famous for. So that's why I bought this. Right now, very popular uh, after the coronavirus because that it is uh, helpful to have a healthy immune system. We eat a lot these days, so that's why the prices got high. Last year, I think it was about 25 Turkish liras for a, a kilogram. And this year, uh, before the coronavirus, it was about uh, 30, 35. After this issue, it, the prices went up to 100 uh, Turkish liras for a kilogram. Uh, from uh, Kastamonu, for uh, 35 Turkish liras, if you buy a hole like this, if you buy it in a, a bunch with stem on, it can stay up to 6-7 months. And also you can just peel off the skin and freeze it for a longer time. I'm gonna give some of them to my relatives as a gift. The tradition is here after you return from your hometown, whatever they grow there. In case of the custom, it is garlic. For example, some of my relatives are gonna come from Trabzon and they are probably brought hazelnuts So because it, it grows there. They have also a beautiful flavored uh, butter in uh, Trabzon city. So they will probably break that. So uh, what else? I brought green lentils, it, which is also famous in uh, Kastamonu. Okay, they are very small, has more intense flavor. I'm gonna make a soup with it, of course gonna uh, share with you. Here I have, again I already uh, mentioned in last year's episode from Kastamonu too, which is CS wheat. This is also an ancient bulgur, ancient wheat type, especially um, grown in Kastamonu region. You can make uh, pilavs. I already shared a sour pilav with it. I'm gonna add the link in the description box. I also bought this time uh, the uh, flour made from CS to try probably uh, making the uh, yogurt dessert, which is uh, like a syrupy cake dessert, but made with uh, CS wheat that I tried in Kastamonu city center in uh, Münire Sultan's office. And what else? I, I bought Kızılcık. Uh, I showed you, I bought the uh, Kızılcık from the Derekani's farmer's market and we made in the morning with my mom and we'll share the recipe with you. Uh, I have uh, Safran Bolu Turkish Delight here. It was uh, given as a gift to me. And I also bought uh, some çekme helvası. It, it, it is also a special dessert. It uh, belongs to Kastamonu city region. I filmed how it is made. I brought my other uh, marmalades that I made from different types of uh, plums. Uh, plum grows widely in Kastamonu also. There are different types, so delicious one of them I made. The one my mom made has very like jelly consistency. I really like that. In some of the types you get the jelly type. So I got it from my mom. And here is a tarak dalı. This is also gonna be in the tarhana soup, which is another ancient recipe. It's a fermented instant soup, I can say. I shared the recipe last year with you. And this year I made another version that you don't have to dry. And use this taraktalı, which is a dill umbrella in this version. 
I also have these copper trays. And jezve for making coffee. For the copper tray, I'm gonna use it to make it's like make gözleme. Hopefully, I will make a video about it too. And here, finally, I have my fabrics, tablecloths. These are gifts from my relatives, kitchen towels. Uh, this is also a nice tablecloth I found. It has a traditional knitting on sides. They have many different colors. And the yellow one is also traditional in Kastamonu. So that's why I bought yellow one this time. And I used it to make a banduma at my mom's house in Kastamonu. The video is on my YouTube channel too. There are all kinds of uh, colors I just couldn't choose. I bought these for my daughter because they are so beautiful, I thought. Handmade. Recently I made one, but it's really time consuming. I bought these for 15 Turkish liras each, about $2. And I also got this dress for my daughter. It is cotton, nice to have. 70 Turkish liras, about $10. You can watch from the episode the shop I bought. And this is Jabalti cheese, kind of ricotto, that I bought from local farmer's market. <laughs> These are the brochures the uh, governor of Kastamonu gave me. This is my town, Devrikani. There are many things I couldn't go. I went to Sheikh Shaban Veli last year. There are many scholars from all times I went to here this time but there are many many more to see hopefully I can go again and show you more this is from Pınarbaşı where, where the canyons are so beautiful we went here I couldn't see Walla Hormak Canyon I, I went there too You should come here, really. I'm, I'm very proud of th this place to be uh, my city, Kastamonu. And I'm feeling so deep right now. It's Kure Mountains. We see some part of it, but it's famous. You can uh, stay there for a time. Kastamonu houses. Uh, I think I, I saw this one last year too. I filmed it. Uh, make sure you watch the other from the archives. You see all the beautiful houses. I went here. Nasrullah Mosque, Mahmud Bey Mosque. This is also a, an interesting mosque. It's made from wood and doesn't contain any nails. It's a different technique from old times. It's very old, from 13th century. I haven't seen it yet. Taş Köprü. We filmed a vlog with Erkan Davulcu. In this episode, I'm visiting Şadiye Teyze in Kastamonu. She makes traditional dishes in her son's YouTube channel and they are famous in Turkey. In her kitchen we made traditional etli ekmek meat gözleme together. Şadık oldu nasıl gidiyor? Valla eve gidiyor. Misafirlerimiz eve gidecek ki Erkan yok başka yapacak yok. Oluyor mu? Olacak ne yapacağız? And this is where most of the garlic grows. And of course my favorite gift of all, thanks to the governor of the Kastamonu, Mr. Avni Çakır. I got this beautiful book full of stories covering about the history of Kastamonu, the dishes from Kastamonu. They have many, many dishes. I'm eager to try them. Stuffed onions, beautiful. Çene çarpan, this is similar to one I ate in Pınarbaşı. The cheese was in is a filling, so I have lots of work to do <laughs> to discover more from the uh, Kastamonu cuisine. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, give your comments down below. If you have similar products like this in where you live, you can uh, write down or maybe the marmalade recipes you already make. So share your comments with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. 
more is gonna come. Stay tuned. Bye.